Hi folks! In this tutorial I want to take you through a feature of Photoshop that is super handy and pretty simple but also something that can be a little confusing for a lot of people and that's customizing your Photoshop workspace. Photoshop is a massive application with powerful tools aimed at different types of users. Photography, digital painting, graphic design, 3D modeling, and website development just to name a few. Photoshop arranges similar tools, functions, and features into panels. You can also add custom panels to Photoshop, such as Tony Kuiper's TK Actions and Infinity Mass panels. Very few of us ever make regular use of every single Photoshop panel. In addition, we all have different workflow preferences and screen space limitations. The ability to create one or more custom workspaces in Photoshop enables you to personalize and evolve your space to best fit how you work and establish optimal efficiency and creative flow. The workspace menu is located right up here. Photoshop comes with some preloaded workspaces. There's one called Essentials. There's one for painting and photography as well as a bunch of others. As you can see, in addition to the preloaded workspaces, I've also created several of my own custom workspaces and I frequently evolve my workspaces and create new ones as my needs change. To create a new custom workspace, first go to the workspace menu and then choose new workspace. Give the new workspace a name and then click save. Now you just begin dragging panels wherever you want them. For example, if I want the Tools panel to be on the other side of the workspace, I can grab it and just drag it over here. As you move or change the panels in the current workspace, that arrangement automatically becomes the saved layout for that workspace. If you change to a different workspace and then come back, you'll find the panels have been left in their most recent arrangement. You can adjust existing workspaces, create new workspaces, or delete workspaces at any time. Individual panels can be moved anywhere within the screen. They can even be moved outside the Photoshop window itself, and you can even move them onto other monitors if you have a multiple monitor setup. Clicking on the icon of a panel expands or contracts it. The double arrows also expand and contract panels, but in a slightly different way, which I'll show in a minute. Each panel has a panel menu with controls specific to that panel. You can dock panels with other panels to create panel groups. You do this by hovering the mouse pointer over the boundary of another panel, and the blue outline will indicate how and where that panel will be docked. If you don't see a panel in the workspace that you're looking for, you can find hidden panels by going to the Windows menu and then selecting from the list. It can be helpful to dock panels into columns. In this way, you can expand individual panels by clicking on the panels icon, or you can expand entire columns by clicking on the double arrows at the top of the column. When you click on a panels icon in the column, it flies out over the top of your image and your workspace. But if you expand the entire column, the workspace moves over so that the panel doesn't cover up your image or other panels. You can resize most panels by clicking and dragging on a boundary. If you want to remove a panel or a panel group, you can expand it and then select Close from the panel menu. Your monitor resolution will determine how much space you have available. You'll need to find panel arrangements that best suit the space that your monitor provides. For these videos, I'm recording a 1080 pixel or 1080p vertical portion of my screen. 
As long as your monitor has at least 1080p vertical resolution, you can arrange your panels in the same way you see mine. Some lower resolution monitors and smaller laptop monitors have a vertical resolution of just 768 pixels. In this case, there will not be enough room to arrange them exactly the way you see them on my screen. My full monitor screen has a 1600 pixel vertical resolution and 4K and 5K monitors have even more resolution than that. With high resolution monitors and dual monitor setups, the options for custom arrangements of your panels is wide open. I hope this has been helpful and provided you with some ideas for creating your own custom workspaces in Photoshop. Remember that you can adjust and make new workspaces at any time, so don't feel like you're locked in to anything.